Hi, welcome to Fusion Beads. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Western Winds necklace. This necklace is made using suede cord with seed beads and a tear cast bead and pendant from the Western Winds collection. And it's a great design to show off your love for the Southwest. To make this necklace, you're going to need size 6 opaque turquoise Picasso round Japanese seed beads, 7 of these 6mm antique brass pewter western beads by Tierra Cast, 1 of these 2 inch antique brass pewter feather pendants by Tierra Cast, 11 of these 6mm antique brass plated base metal 20 gauge open jump rings, 10 of the 2mm crimp beads, and then 10 of the 3.2mm crimp beads in natural brass. And then you're going to need nine and a half feet of the ultra microfiber suede in light brown, and that's three millimeter, five feet of soft flex beading wire. You're going to need chain nose pliers, crimping pliers, wire cutters, and Zeron thread and fiber scissors. You can find all of these product links in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so to start your necklace, you first wanna cut three 38 inch lengths of um, your suede cord. And you wanna bring the ends together. And then you want about eight inches up from the bottom. Um, you can kinda of eyeball it or take your tape measure. About eight inches. You wanna just tie a knot. And then you want to do the same thing with the other end. So you have two knots that are eight inches up from the bottom of your cord length. Okay, so then from here, I'm going to take one end. And what we want to do is you just want to braid. You want to braid down about four inches. And you wanna make sure that the suede cord is just laying flat. As you braid, you don't want it to like twist over or anything like that. So just make sure it lays flat. Let's see how long that is. Okay, so you see you have about your four inches there. And then we just want to tie a knot at this end. So just bring that end through. There you have one end with a, about a four inch braid and you have your two knots. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for the other side. Okay, so now you can see that we have both of our ends done. We have the knots, the first knots eight inches up from the bottom. Then we've made a four inch braid and then tied two more knots here at the bottom. And so we just wanna set this aside And then now you just want to cut five 12 inch lengths of your beading wire. And just take one of those lengths. Okay, and then you take one of your crimp beads. And then one of your jump rings. String that beading wire through and then go back through the crimp bead. Okay, 
Okay, and then take your crimping pliers and this first notch here. Just place your crimping. And you want to make sure that there's a little bit of wiggle room for your jump ring. Just crimp down and then turn 90 degrees and put it in this front notch. Just crimp down again. And that's just gonna kind of fold that crimpy dog on itself. Okay, and then you just want to take your cutters. Just cut off that tail. And you have one. And attach to your jump ring. And now we just want to string our beads. So for this first row, we're going to do, we're going to need 20 seed beads to start. Ten more. Okay, so there's your 20 seed beads, and then we're going to string one, the tear cast beads, and then 10 more seed beads. So then you have 10 seed beads and then one more tear cast bead. Okay, and then after that, you just need 10 of the seed beads. So there you have your first strand, and we're just going to repeat the same thing we did on this end. So grab a crimp bead, and a jump ring, put that beading wire through the jump ring, and then back through the crimp bead. Okay. And just bring that down. And in that back notch, just crimp, crimp bead, and turn it. Place it in that front notch. Crimp it again. OK, 
Okay, and you just cut off your tail. And there you have one strand. And the end of these strands, we just want to add the crimpy covers. So to do that, take your crimpy cover and just place that crimpy right inside. And then just take your pliers and bring, bring those ends together. That's just going to form a little, little bead. Okay, just repeat that for the other side. Just put that crimp bead right inside the crimpy cover. And just take your pliers and just close that cover just to bring those ends together. There we go. Okay, so there you have your first strand. So I'm going to go ahead, um, you're going to need five strands, so I'm going to go ahead and make the other four, and I will show you the pattern. All right, so as you can see, I've got my five strands here that I did. So this is the first one that I showed you, and that has the 20 seed beads, um, the metal bead, 10 seed beads, the metal bead, and then 10 more seed beads. And then on the second strand that I did, it's going to, it was um, seven seed beads, metal bead, and then 35 seed beads. The third strand was 21 seed beads, the metal bead, and then 21 more seed beads. This fourth strand is 35 seed beads, metal bead, and then seven seed beads. And then this fifth strand here, this last one is 10 seed beads, metal bead, 10 seed beads, metal bead, and then 20 seed beads. So you just want to create these five strands and they're going to go in this order onto your necklace. So you want to grab the braided cord. Okay. And then we're just going to attach each strand onto this braided section here. So to do that, you want to take your first strand and then just open up that jump ring, bringing one end towards you and one away from you. And then we're going to skip this first braided side here and we're going to go right through the second one down. like that. And you just close that jump ring. Okay, so then repeat the same thing the other side. So just open up that jump ring. Then skipping first braided section. We're just going to go right down. Second one. And then just again bring those ends back together to close your jump ring. Okay, so there you have one strand attached to your braid. And then we're going to take our second strand here. Okay, and just open that up. And then this next end, just put it right through that next braided section here on this end. And close that jump ring back up. Okay. 
I'll just the same thing on this other side. Just put it right through. Next braided. And then we'll just go on to our third strand here. And again, just going down to this next just cord. It's on the end here. Close that jump ring back up. Open the other side. Go through the next braided section down. And close it back up. Okay, take that fourth strand. Again, that next piece of that cord, that next braided section. Close it up. Do the same thing on the other side here. Okay, so you just want to add your last strand. Right here. to that next little braided section. Close that back up. Okay, so now you have all of your strands attached to your braid. And now we just want to add that little feather pendant here to one side. So just take your chain nose pliers. I'm just going to open up jump ring, bringing one end towards you one away, and just attach your feather, the top loop there. And then we're just going to attach that just to this bottom strand here in that knot. You just want to connect it just so it dangles down, just like that. Okay, so there you have your Western Winds necklace. Now you have a great design to show off and you can find all of the tools and materials for the Western Winds necklace at fusionbeads.com.